Hey, Ryan Steinelson here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, really excited that you're jumping in this course. And uh, I'm going to give you, this is really uh, designed, this course is designed to get you started really quickly, right out of the gate, um, to help you start with your reputation, start getting more reviews. I've been doing reputation management for a long time. You can type in our you know, company, uh, Accelerate Marketing San Diego. You can see that um, that there's been a few people that have typed this word in, and um, you know, you know that because it, you see it's 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 prompted here. And this is this is why we do this is because you know you'll have a lot of people, and and this is what I'm going to ask for you to do first is to type in your business name uh, first and foremost because your reputation is is obviously very important to you. So I'm just going to go. I'm going I'm getting right into it. I'm not wasting any time. Um, I want you guys to have a reputation like this that we've we've worked very hard over the years for um, by asking specifically for for reviews, and that's really the secret sauce is is asking for um, asking specifically for reviews from customers or clients of yours that you've earned a review from, where you've earned what we call a reviewable moment, and when you earn that reviewable moment, what you can do is just ask them simply for a review at that time. And the key is to know where to send them. This is one of the first things that I want you to do, though, is I'd like for anybody that's in this course, if you're just starting out, first, you want to type in your business name and your city and maybe even the word reviews in order to see what comes up in the search results? Do you have Glassdoor? Do you have um, ex you know your website, Yelp, Clutch? You know what? What do you have? UpCity? Do you have? You know, obviously, Google My Business is going to be right here. You know which ones do you have negative reviews on, and which ones do you have very few reviews on? Which directories? Those are the directories that you really want to focus on first and that we're going to focus on first to get reviews for you. Now, I will say with a caveat that that really, you know, the the 10,000 pound gorilla out there is is Google. The Google My Business directory page for your for your business is probably the most important. Why? Because of the fact that about 80 percent of people go to Google in order to find a local business. So. I would submit to you that that's really where you want to start getting reviews. Nine out of ten businesses—that's the most important place that they that they can get reviews. Um, if you want to find out just how important um, reviews and, and your reputation is, you can just type in um, um, review uh, report zero nine, and um, this you know one of the things that that uh, is great is there's a lot of really good data out there about um, the importance of reviews. And one of the things that I really like is, is this, there's a uh, reputation report and or a review report that was, has been done over the past four years, gives you really great, um, um, really great information about how important reviews are, um, all kinds of, of really, really great data. And I'm going to put that link down below in the, um, in this post here. Let me know what questions you have, uh, by posting below as well. But this is what I want you to do first. Very simply, I want you to type in your business name and your city. And if you want, uh, post an image of what you see, you know, send us a screenshot and, um, let's, we're going to focus on at least giving you an awareness right now of what your reputation is online. Now we do have reports that can give you much more clarity on, you know, where you have negative reviews. Um, and, and we can, we can uh, generate those reports for you. But for right now, this is a really quick and easy way to find out, you know, just where you're at in terms of your, rep your reputation and what directories you really need to focus on in order to make it so that when people go and type in, your business name and your city, which is approximately what 60 to 70% of people are going to do when they're referred to your business. The question is, when they do that, what do they find? And so um, that's what we're 
we're showing you right here how to how to look up. We've got a baseline now that we know where you're at. Now we can give you some solutions on on where to go from here. But I also want to say that you know one of the things that makes this training different is that it's not so much about a mechanism for getting you reviews as much as it is a training for you to understand how important reviews are to get. And more importantly, um, you know, it's, it's really about shifting your culture so that starting with you, whoever you are that's watching this, whether it's the CEO, this training is important for your entire staff to have if you have a team, because once they understand the importance of reviews and they mechanistically understand how to get reviews quickly and they understand that it's important to ask for reviews, then you've got and they understand when to ask for reviews. That is that you've got the makings for a great review culture in your business. And that's what we're trying to shift here is, is making you have or giving you the opportunity to have an army of people on your team to ask and get reviews that are going to be actionable reviews, meaning they're reviews that actually when people read them, they they get people to take action because they are I mean, they literally speak right to the consumer and they're really specific. They're very specific in terms of the value that was delivered so that when the person reads the review, we call that a two W testimonial or a 2w review it's it's telling the person what benefits in particular and specifically they received and why they would recommend your business so um, we'll get into that i just wanted to lay some of the groundwork here and uh, give you some insight this is the first step congratulations now you've got a better insight into what you're doing here and i'm going to pause here for one second i just Okay, so here's some of that, that report. It's the uh, Local Consumer Review Survey. Uh, this is the updated 2018 version. What we found, here's some of the top statistics here. And this is why it's so important to do this work and to build your review culture in your business is because 86, and by the way, you know we've been doing this, like I said, for about 10 years. We've got great reviews ourselves. Go check them out. Um, but also, I mean, Look at look at some of these businesses that we've helped. I mean, I just want you to see property management. I mean, if you just type in property management San Antonio, uh, most likely you're going to see Liberty Management there, and you're going to see that they've got 504 reviews. And if you go to Houston, they've got more reviews than anybody else other than in the world as a property management company. Um, and you can see that people are typing this in property management, Houston, Texas. Is it, is this a valuable keyword? Yeah. $15, $16.92 is what these guys are paying to, um, to get people, uh, to click on their business, their link when they go to this and search for this keyword. Let's just see how many. So 262 times when people look there, if I clicked on empire industries, who's our client, if I, kept, if I clicked on Steve Rosenberg's website here, now it looks funny, Houston. So it looks like um, our boys in Houston over there, our, our, our guys in Houston actually have Empire beat out here. They go back and forth. They've got 499 reviews, 4.8 star rating. If you were looking to choose a business on this page, who would you choose from this? We call it the, the three pack or the snack pack. This is the three pack of businesses that show up on maps exclusively for this keyword that has a decent amount of competition, but more importantly has a cost per click of $16.92. If you if they paid to show up in one of these three ad positions here and somebody clicked on these links, I would immediately, this would charge this all property management company $16.92. And there's 260 people typing this in monthly looking for a great property management company. So is this an important keyword to rank for? Do you think they're getting a lot of phone calls from showing up here in the top position on the maps with 499 reviews, four to five times more than the second and the third businesses here? I mean, they're getting 80% of the phone calls for sure, when people go and they search for this keyword, 70 to 80%. Let me know what you think. Type some comments in below. Check out some of these amazing statistics. 
consumers read an average of 10 on, you want to at least get 10 reviews. That's why I said, if you don't have 10 reviews on that first page, you need to get them. 40, 40% of consumers take an, um, um, into account reviews written within the past two weeks. Okay. So, so the recency of the reviews, in other words, building the culture so that you continually have a, a stream of reviews coming in that is up to date. Okay. Um, you can see the rest. Um, we'll only use a business if it has a four star rating or better. You need to have a four star rating. 57% of consumers will only use a business with a four star rating or better. I think it's important <laughs> to have a four star rating or better. So um, anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.